Hello everyone, welcome to EC QuickBooks Training. Today I will show you how to remove the restrictions that are pending due to an accountant's copy. If you've seen my previous video on how to do a copy for your accountants, you will remember that we selected a dividing date and now we have to remove it maybe because we need to uh, change our copy or we decided to go to a different accountant and you need to resend or redo um, uh, accountant's copy. And you know if you have accountant's changes pending because at the top of your QuickBooks file you will see this message accountant's changes pending. So in order to remove this we need to go to file then we need to go to send company file accountants copy and we're going to select remove restrictions now if you are absolutely sure you want to remove the restrictions go ahead and click remove restrictions if you do so what's going to happen is you cannot accept the accountants copy for that original accountants copy that you did so if you are going to keep or are waiting for your accountant's changes, do not do this. Otherwise, you will not be able to import the changes into your QuickBooks file. But if you are sure you want to remove it, go ahead and click Remove Restrictions. And as we could see, it gives us the message that we are removing the restrictions and we want to select Yes. I want to remove the accountant's restrictions and we'll go ahead and click OK. And that's how you remove an accountant's copy uh, restrictions for your QuickBooks file. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would like to keep getting tips and tricks uh, for your QuickBooks. And don't forget to visit our web website at ecquickbookstraining.com. See you in the next one.